Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point and we are going to discuss today the background layer. So in Adobe Photoshop, the background layer is the first image, the first layer actually that's created. So whenever you open an image, it automatically gets opened as a background layer. With background layer, there are certain things you must keep in mind unless or in case you don't want to place yourself in a fix. So let's move forward and understand the background layers. So background layer is the first image that you open when you open your any image in the Photoshop. So always remember, the contents of a background layer cannot move. So if you want to move the content, so you must move them on an active layer. So with background layer, always remember, one, you could make a duplicate copy of the background layer and do whatever you want or else you can unlock the layer, the background layer by just clicking on the lock button at its side. So guys, let's move forward and work with background layers. Let's dive in. In Photoshop, whenever you open an image, it always gets opened as your background layer. So if I just open this image and I can see over here at the right hand side, I have that image open as the background. So background image is the first layer that gets opened when you open an image. The content of the background image cannot be moved. So let me select the move tool, which is here, the top one. I just cannot move it. The current layer selected is a background layer. You cannot move a layer. So, yeah, but if I have another layer, I can move that. I'll just show you. We cannot have transparent pixels on the background. So if I basically have something over it, so let me take something over it. So I just did something and now I want to erase it. So I'm going to erase it and you cannot have transparent pixels. And I'm going to show you what if it was not my background layer, I would have got the uh, the transparent pixels. So let me go back. Also, we cannot put our background image over or below another image. So if I have another image, let me do a copy of this image. I'm going to tell you how do we duplicate an image uh, in the in my other tutorials, but I have this layer one and my background. I want to bring it over. So you cannot put anything under your background layer, but in other cases we can. We cannot alter or change the opacity. So let me change and make this lighter. Nothing is happening because we are on our background layer. And a background layer over here, you can see, is always locked by default. To work on these layers, we can also convert our background layer into a normal layer. So we have few steps in doing that. We can create a duplicate layer like I had done it earlier also. Let me go ahead and just remove this and I'm going to do it again for you. So I can just create a duplicate layer by bringing it to this icon and I have my duplicate layer. So I can go ahead and delete this layer again in the trash can and this will be an unlocked background copy and I can do whatever I want. I can also let me just undo what I just did and by control alt Z. and now I actually want to unlock this so I can also click on this uh, lock pad on the side and uh, have this as layer 0 or I can also do command J I'm going to let me undo this and get back to my background layer. I can do a command J or a control J to have my duplicate layer. So I had three options. One was duplicating, bring it in here, clicking here and making it a normal layer. Okay, and making it a normal layer or also by command J or control J. So now in this story, we learned all about background layers and unlocking the background layers. Stay tuned to tutorial point.